what is up everyone this is abhishek and in this video we are gonna take a look at some free materials for blender you can download these free materials from the link in the description below so after downloading you will get this file and in order to use it in blender to simply open a blender suppose you are working in a scene so you can add the materials by simply going to file append just search wherever you have saved the file if you click on it it will take you inside the folder and over here you can see we have materials to select all of them and simply click on append from library and it will add all the materials to a blender file now we need a model to demonstrate the materials so i'm going to quickly add a monkey or we call it susan so let's just add some modifier just smooth it out like this and we're going to do some shade smoothing so now you can see that we have this model and we are going to apply some materials that we just imported. So over here you can see that under the materials tab, we have all the materials that we just imported. Click on them and it will apply the material. Now in order to view them, you must be in the rendered view. So just simply click over here. And as you can see that I've already set up an HDRI. You can also use the look tab mode by simply clicking over here and if you don't have any HDRI setup, you can quickly preview the materials over here. But since I've already done that, so I'm going to use the HDRI. And in order to edit this material, you can simply go over here and let's choose the shader editor. And from here, you can see we can change the color just like this. You can just play around with this and we'll get different looks. Now in the same way, you can apply different materials. So let's try this one. And over here, you can see that we have this crunchy metal texture and you can play around with these crunches by simply using this slider and you can increase them or decrease them however you want. You can also animate the decay on this one by simply using this slider. So you can add a keyframe over here and after that, just change its position and add another keyframe so that the position parameter is animating just like this. And you can also play around with the color if you want like this uh, make sure if you are using this and you are in the ev render mode make sure you have these properties check on ambient occlusion and under the screen space, space reflection make sure this is checked as well make sure half rest is turned off so it will give you some nicer result you can also add some bloom if you want but it is not necessary so let's check out few other materials and as you can see that we have this metal one we have we have this brushed kind of look you can also play around with the intensity and scale just like this from here like this and in the same way you can play around with pretty much any material here we have this gold one we have also silver and we have this striped one so once again you can play around with them and you can just simply change the properties and you can add the stripes to whatever direction you want just like this and you can change their color by simply going over here and you can choose whatever you want just like this so this is how you can edit all these materials and you can apply them to different objects just like this so I hope you will enjoy using them and that's it for this video. This is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.